Hey guys, it's Brian again. In this video, we're gonna set up your purchase pixel so you can track your sales. Let's jump in. Okay, so let's make sure that Facebook knows anytime someone is making a purchase, because if you're running ads, you want Facebook to know when someone's actually making a purchase. So in one of our last videos, I showed you how to take the Facebook pixel and go install it on your SAM card account by going in your settings and pasting it right here. So to get Facebook to know when someone does more than just does a page view, that's what this little pixel right here is doing. It's telling Facebook, hey, look at this account. And anytime you see this code right here, tell Facebook somebody hit this page. So we wanna add another little piece of code into this core code, the core Facebook pixel that says not only did somebody view the page and come to my sales page for this product, but when they actually go through, fill out their name and email, give me their credit card information here and click on place order, I wanna know that they bought. And this is one of the best parts about SAM card that it makes doing this incredibly easy. So all you have to do is go into your SAM card account, go into each one of your products and add this simple line of code. So I'm gonna go into my main front end product the 10 step hitting system. Uh, this is normally a $27 ebook. I have it set to a dollar right now just so we can test it and go over to advanced settings. So what we, what we added just for this scenario is a little box where you can put in a piece of code that fires after an order is completed. So if someone comes to your page, clicks on place order now, places their order, there's a split second where we show the code that shows up in this box. So this is the script that you need to add that will essentially tack itself on to the main Facebook code that's already on all of your SAM card pages, including the little mini page that they see right after they place an order before we redirect them to the thank you page that either you set up or, or SAM card automatically generates for you. So just paste in this code right here. So what that's gonna do is on top of the main Facebook code that says, hey, someone viewed this page, it's gonna track a purchase was made, it's gonna dynamically insert the name of that product, and it's gonna dynamically insert the price of that product. So what that does for you is it, it eliminates all the extra heavy lifting of having to worry about making sure that the right dollar amount gets back to Facebook. If you change your price in SAM card, it automatically gets updated. So just make sure you copy this code word for word, letter for letter, line for line. I'll paste it down below this video, but make sure you have the quotes around this product name, the two hashtags at the beginning and end. There's no quotes around the value. You need these little commas at the end of each line on these two lines. Um, you don't need one on this currency line. Make sure to go through this step by step. And then here's the cool part to make sure that this is there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make sure I save the changes here. I'm gonna go back to my second product, which I'm using as an order bump. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna do the same thing here. So let me get rid of all of this. I'm gonna add it in here, save changes there. So now, no matter what happens, if either one of these products are bought at any time, Samcart will tell Facebook, hey, this product name was bought and this is the price that it bought it for. Um, so let me go back and show you how to test this out. If you go up here and click on these couple, these two, uh, or the, the business tools uh, slider again, and go to, I think it's your events manager, and then go to test events. Let me clear this activity here since we're testing it again. Uh, let me take my URL here. I'm gonna copy this in and say, hey, I'm gonna go test browser events for this site, which is my SAM card page set up on a custom domain. So I'm gonna say, open up the website. Let me open this up in a separate window so that you guys can see. As you can see, it already fired a page view because my Facebook core pixel is set up on this page. It has not fired the purchase pixel yet, but it sees that it's waiting there, sitting ready to, to fire. So if I go down here and I place a test order, and then what I'm also gonna do, I'm gonna add this other product to my cart as well. So we should see two purchase pixels fired as soon as I place my order here. 
and one should be for a dollar and one should be for 47 bucks. So I'm gonna click place order and just keep your eye down here in the lower left as it processes the order. Now that it's finalizing order, boom, boom, there they are. They're working just fine. It redirected. I have a custom thank you page for this product that redirects it over to our other URL, which is fine. But the good part about SAM card is you don't have to worry about putting code on your thank you page and making sure it all works well because um, it's all built in. So if we go down and look at these, you can actually expand these and say, okay, tell me the details about these two purchase events. Well, there's our, my primary ebook. I set the price to a dollar. There's the instant hitting drills order bump. The value is 47. So everything is working just fine. So this, yeah, I know this. these were a lot of kind of early introductory videos, but this is now setting us up to be able to create an ad campaign that optimizes for purchases and tells Facebook every time somebody buys anything inside our SAM card account. So um, congrats on making it through kind of this. That was the difficult part. The easy part is now creating ads, getting people to click on them, um, getting you know Facebook to optimize for the right thing. Um, the easy part is what's left. So that's it for setting up your first couple conversion events uh, and getting Facebook to track what is going on.